Dr. Bloom, Wizard, and I dive into the amazing world of airplanes. We're gonna learn how airplanes fly and then put everything we learn to the test in an epic paper airplane challenge. The winner gets the crown of the best paper airplane and the loser gets a face full of pie. Who'll win and who'll lose? Let's find out. Welcome to Ryan's world. Hey everyone, welcome back to the lab. Dr. Ion and I are so excited to tell you about our latest experiment. Y'all are not going to believe what we came up with. It's, what was that? Oh, it's okay, doctor. I'm sure it's just someone goofing around. <laughs> now come on, back to the experiment. You're right, Dr. Bloom. So, today we came up with a new experiment. It's this incredible, what is that? Never mind. anyway, it doesn't matter. We came up with this new experiment. It's this incredible, oh my gosh. That's it, I had it. I'm getting to the bottom of this. Whoa, this is helpless. I'll never figure it out. Wizard, I knew it was you. What's going on? Oh, hey guys, uh, it's nothing. I'm just trying to break the record for the longest flying paper airplane. That actually sounds fun. I'll tell you what, I I'll agree to help you make the world's best paper airplane if you stop throwing paper in my face. No deal. I'm just gonna pretend you said yes. What about it, Dr. Bloom? Let's teach Wiz all about the science of flight. Totally. I learned a lot about flight from watching birds and insects. Then let's get ionic. All right, today we're gonna be learning all about what makes planes fly. The science of flight is called aerodynamics. Whenever something takes flight, there are four aerodynamic forces acting upon it. There's thrust, which moves it forward. And drag, which pushes it backwards. Lift, which gets it up off the ground. And gravity, which brings it down. Oh, trust me, I know all about that last one. None of my paper airplanes have stayed in the air for more than a few seconds. Hmm. You're running into the same problem that humans ran into for centuries before they figured out flight. But the real breakthrough for human flight happened in 1903. This was the year that two brothers named Wilbur and Orville Wright flew the first heavier than air plane. Oh, oh, how did they do it? They did it by adding an engine to the gliders they had been experimenting with. An engine powered the propeller, which moved the craft forward. In other words, it provided thrust. Once it got going fast enough, the air flowing under and over the wings created lift. And thrust plus lift equals flight. Oh, but that's of no use to me. My paper airplanes are so small, there's no way that I could build an engine tiny enough to fit the airplane. Why, unless I enlisted the help of some sort of mice army. Um, no need for that, wizard. Uh, I think our history lesson should be more than enough information for us to improve your gliders and uh, keep them soaring for super long distances. Let's get ionic. All right, today, wizard, we're gonna show you how to make the best airplane the world has ever seen. But first, show us what you've been doing so far. I take a regular piece of paper and fold it lengthwise. Then I fold the corners like so. Lastly, I fold the edges really tight. But it's no use. It doesn't go very far. Though this plane has plenty of thrust from you throwing it, the way these wings are built, it really don't got much lift. So that means the other two forces, gravity and drag, take over the plane, causing it to fall to the earth. Oh, I get it. So, if I want my glider to fly farther, I have to increase the lift. But, how do I do that? Voila! Can you already tell the big difference between this airplane to this airplane? That's right, the wings on this one is bigger, which means that there's more space underneath, which hopefully means that there's more lift. See, the reason airplanes are able to fly has to do with the air traveling under and over the wings. The air traveling over the wing moves faster than the air traveling under it. This creates air pressure underneath, which pushes the plane upwards, overcoming gravity. <gasps> nice, Dr. Ion. So a glider like that with a lot bigger wings catches a lot more air above and below it, creating more lift. Precisely. Let's give it a test run. Look. 
did improve on my first design, I'll admit. But I wonder, can we make it go even farther? Oh, you boys are thinking way too in the box. Just picture all of the different flying critters in the animal kingdom. I mean, there's the dragonflies, the flying squirrels, the flying fish. I think for our next design, let's not only take Earth into consideration, let's think about outer space. Ta-da! Whoa, that looks a lot like a... A UFO, precisely. This plane is pretty much all wing. Because it's a cylinder, lots of air should be able to pass through the inside and outside of it, generating lots of lift. Let's try it out. Go, go, go! Yeah. Oh, magical! Ionic! Amazing! <laughs> How about a friendly competition? Let's see whose plane can go the farthest. <gasps> Good idea. Let's make it even better. Whoever loses gets pied in the face. I'm down. I'm choosing this glider. This is my glider. And I've got the UFO. Y'all ready? Yeah. Ready. Three, two, one, go! <gasps> yes! <laughs> <laughs> wow! Wizard, where's your plane? Well, it looks like you are the loser, Wizard. You are gonna get pied in the face. Well, that's no good. All right, Wizard, you lost the competition. You know what that means. What does it mean? Knock, knock. Who's there? Pie! <laughs> Pie who? Pie you! <laughs> oh, wizard. It was a good try. <laughs> Thank you. Back to the lab. Mmm. Love whipped cream. Would you like some? I'm all right. Even if that was a bit messy, Thank you both for helping me attempt my dream. I had no idea about the four forces of aerodynamics. Lift, gravity, drag, and thrust. Yeah, and I learned that an engine in an airplane helps them with thrust to overcome drag, and the wings help them with lift to overcome gravity. Which slices through the air so that the air gliding over the wing travels faster than the air underneath it creating a difference in air pressure that pushes up on the wing and provides lift. Wow, but I've got some bad news. Unfortunately, I looked up the world record for the longest paper plane flight, and we didn't even come close. Well, I'm not ready to give up yet, Wizard. I think to learn more about this topic, we are going to need to talk to a real life expert. You don't mean. I do. I plan on visiting a real life pilot sometime in the near future. Hi guys, today we're going to Halo's farm. And we're going to see how they produce mandarin oranges. Yeah, and they're gonna let us go in the private plane. We are here. What do you see? Wow, oh, look at all those airplanes, Ryan. <laughs> There's so many. Wow, which one is Whoa. There? Like four of them. Yeah. There's four of them. Guess which one you're going to be. Which one? You want that one? Whoa. Oh, cool. yeah. I like the propeller. Wow, so this is cool. This is our first time ever going on a private little plane, right? Yeah. So this is the plane we're going to go on. Whoa, it's so cool. Now we're going to go to Halo's the first plane. All right, let's go. Let's go inside. <laughs> oh, is this where we go? All right, Ryan, you take the first step. Oh, the seat's like this. Wow. Ryan, where do you want to sit? Do you want to sit there? Okay. So this is Ryan's seat. You ready? I'm going to walk into I'm nervous. Like we're getting ready. Yeah. Ryan's looking outside. This is our view outside. Yeah, the propeller's moving. You guys see it? Oh, we're moving. It can be an airplane pilot when you go up there. Whoa, look at all so many buttons. How do you know what to press, right? Uh, Ryan's driving! Uh, <laughs> Should we be scared for our life? No. All right, that was a fun trip. 
first we stop by the Halo's office. Look, Ryan. <laughs> <laughs> look at that stand. That's cool. Alright, Ryan, are you ready to see how Halos are produced here? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so excited. Alright, let's go check it out. Yes. So excited. <laughs> hey! Get away, Ryan. <laughs> oh, there's so many Halos over there. What? Wow. So many Halos, right? So this is their conference room. Ooh, and some yummy snacks for us. Yay! Very cool. They give us a bag. <laughs> With some fun crayons for you to color. Okay, we color. Glasses and a fidget spinner. Oh, so we opened it. Here's the fidget spinner. You want to see if it works? Whee! Oh, Aw, and a cute sunglasses. Yeah. Oh, nice. So nice. They even have a truck here with halos on them. What? No! <laughs> They're not real? They're squishies? No! That is so cool. So in order to get to the Halos farm, we gotta ride this bus to get there. They're actually mint. Wow, they even included some candy for us. Even Look at some that. mint. Ryan chose the back seat here out of all the seats. <laughs> then we went to the Halos orchards to hand pick our own Halos. Alright guys, here we are at the Halos farm. You guys see the mandarins on there? Oh, wow. Grab the colored ones if you grab them, but you can pick whatever you want. It smells good. Yeah. <laughs> it smells like Monday. <laughs> Ryan and Daddy are picking some halos. We're going to try to bring some fresh no halos home. All right, I'm going to pick this mandarin. Ooh. Nice. Nice. I like it. I'm going to get this one. Goes in. Good. Smells good. It's the freshest you can get. Daddy, there's a lot over here. Oh wow, this is a good one. Oh. There's so many. You got it, Ryan? So uh, many. I think Ryan find the good one. Nice. So many good ones. <laughs> <laughs> good job. <laughs> I got so many. <laughs> There you go. Good Yay, job. Good job, Ryan. All right, so I'm going to try to pick some halos too. Let's see. Ryan's picking some and I'm picking some too. Ooh, this Did one you find looks any? fresh. Yeah. This oh, one, looks, that one good. looks good. Right? Yeah. Yeah, this one looks good. Ryan, I'm beating you. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I have seven. I have nine. I guess, well, this one looks pretty good. Mm. See, oh, there's definitely more. <laughs> oh. That one looks good. Nice. Wow, Ryan's a pro. Oh, look at go. Wow, so fast now. Do you work here, Ryan? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Maybe. This is kind of easy. Yeah, it's easy fun, walk. right? It's fun. It's fun and easy. Good yeah. job. Yeah. Ryan's doing a great job. Can't wait to go home and try all these. Right? I think we have enough. High five, buddy. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Whoa, we made it. So these are the one that they already picked. But it's pretty much the same, so I'm gonna put some in oh, my bag yeah. too to bring home. Wonderful halos are mandarins born and raised in California. So as we pick them, we're gonna try them. What do you think? Good, <laughs> yeah. Oh, it's good. It's good. What do you think? It's very fresh and sweet. It's good. Mm -hmm. <laughs> halos orchards are so big, they cover over. 25,000 acres in California. Next, we visit the Halos plant. To go to the factory, we're taking these golf carts. So I'll sit with Ryan in the back. I'll be the Okay. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Right, so now we're going to the plant on a car. How does it wow. feel? Cool. Cool. Great. Oh, Ryan, we're here. Oh, we're going to that building first? Oh, so this is their cafeteria. It's huge. How many people do you work here? Yes. I don't know. Uh, 400. Um, 2,000. 2,000, wow. We wore safety vests. Cute. Oh, that's the best too. <laughs> Ryan. <laughs> <laughs> this is so long for me. It's so big, I know. And wash our hands. Very important. So this is where all the fruit gets sorted and packed, okay? We're going in to the Halos factory. 
Cool. Halos are checked five different times for color, sweetness, and freshness before being shipped out. The plant sorts the fruit to pick the best halos. The plant also checks the fruit, color, and size for quality. On some days, halo can fill about 80 to 100 delivery trucks per day. We also visit the Halo's 80-foot building that looks exactly like Halo's Mandarin package. That giant building can fit about 130 million Halo's inside. Wow! That was such a fun field trip. Yeah. yeah, thanks wonderful Halos for showing us around. Parents, Ryan's World Toys and Clothing are now available at Walmart, Target, Smith Toys in the UK and Ireland, along with Big W in Australia. There's also Meet Ryan Book to learn all about what Ryan's like. Hi, my name is Ryan and I am seven years old. My favorite colors are neon blue and neon green. There's also Ryan's bike with Combo Panda that Ryan used to learn to ride a bike with no training wheel available at Walmart. Let it go! Good job! Make sure you stand in the middle, Ryan. Whoa! Whoa. 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 Good job, buddy. Ooh.